Hello folks, welcome to Loop Learnings and this is the very first video of a new series we are going to start and the series name would be POS uh, 2.0 or how to make POS system in Microsoft Access and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a database schema. Basically we are going to look at what tables we are going to create and I will explain what is the mechanism and also we'll create some uh, tables as well. So let's quickly go ahead and let's uh, create the tables. But before I do that, I wanted to ask if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. In any case, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. By the way, this, these videos, initially, they will be available for the channel members. So if you are interested, please do join the channel and I will, uh, you'll be able to access all these uploads uh, very early. And also I will give you, I will give you the option to download uh, some of the files as well. So let's quickly go ahead and look at what exactly we are going to create. So this is a little Excel document in which you can see that I have created some tables. This is a, a database schema. So we're go going to create users table, customers, category, product category and products and sale, sale item, payments, inventory. So it is going to be very basic, yet very powerful um, application, which we are going to develop on uh, Microsoft Access. And let's get started. So I'm going to create tables in this video. In the next video, we'll continue with the rest of the process. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Microsoft Access. We'll click on create. So you want to create tables anytime you click on create and you see uh, many options here. One of the options we are going to work with is table. So we'll click there and we get this little designer over we'll right click and we we'll go to design view and we will change the name of this table. So we're going to keep the same name, let's say users and we'll click OK. Now the benefit is I can actually copy all these fields and we can um, keep on continuing and it will make our job so much easier. Right. So full name, username. So m I'm planning to have this um, option of logging in to the application. So that's why username and passwords uh, will be given. So role, we will see the role. And I want to have a lookup wizard for the role. So for example, admin, cashier, manager. So let's say we'll come here. I'll type the values. So we'll say admin, cashier, manager all right i'm assuming that this pos will be used in a small shop could be grocery shop could be uh clothes selling shop any shop <laughs> but you can use this pos system right there so we'll click on finish and we'll go to status sorry status and short text okay we can reduce the field size of the text because we know that uh, it is not going to be 255 characters probably so we can actually reduce the size of the field and which will help us definitely later on all right so as you can see the users table is created right away that's how you know quickly we are going to create uh, uh, tables the rest of the tables i'm just changing the font there we go so first table is created done now we'll move on to the second table which is customer so let me copy that create table right click design view customers i've copied the name of the table let's add let's add t at the end so that's that's indication all right so i'm going to do that for the users table as well so let's say user id uh, sorry customer id customer name email address and status as well okay so there you go that's the customer table let me change this name of this tables from users to users t all right great okay so two tables are created now let's move on to the third one, which is the smallest table category. So we'll click on create tables. So, you know, we are constructing the database, which is the critical aspect of any application. So because I have this data base schema figured it out, I put it in Excel. So it's easier for me. I just copy and paste in creating. So I recommend that for you as well uh, to make your job easy. All right. There you go. So that is done as well. Now let's move ahead and create a products table. So click on create table, right click, design view, products. And remember T at the end, products T. I'll say product ID, product, name of the product, description. You know, we can add description as well. 
which later can be printed or can be uh, used for multiple purposes. Category ID, ID, you can see that FK is foreign key. Okay, so this this uh, field basically is linked with the foreign key, which is category ID coming from the category tables. So let's select category ID right here. I'll go to category ID and I'm going to choose the data type as a number. So remember, wherever we are going to create um, the relationship, mostly it is number data type field, okay? Cost, and I'm going to choose a number again, or let's use currency, right? So we can make our job a little easier. Default value, I'm going to put it zero. Decimal points, I'm going to make it zero. And RSP as well. So let's copy the same. And we'll say RSP, a retail sales price. And ATP is basically available to promise whether this product is actually available to promise or not. So that is going to be number field. We're going to make decimal places zero and we're going to remove the default value zero. Actually, we can keep it zero as a default value. All right, so status and we'll say, is it active or inactive? So that will be status of the product. Okay, so that's done. Let's move on to the next one, sales. So let's create the sales table. And right click, and we'll say sales. I forgot to add T at the end. Anyway, so we will do that. This is a phone key for customer ID, going to be linked with the customer. So we'll say a number, and we'll remove decimal. We'll make zero, and the next one is user ID. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to change the name right here sale date okay so paste and we'll have date and time but the format i'm going to choose a short date okay total amount we can have total amount again as a currency and a decimal place is zero and the default value is nothing discount okay if there is any discount that we can add here and then net amount and then net amount, so we'll click here, or oh, sorry, paste here. And in here, I'm going to use calculated fields. So what I'm going to cal what I'm going to calculate is total amount minus discount. Okay, so we'll say total amount minus discount. Okay, all right, that's about it. And uh, result type will be currency. Okay, and decimal place is zero. We'll save that and what else status and we'll keep the status as text field there you go so we have successfully created sales table as well now we'll create sales item table okay and let's close it before i forget let me change and add t at the end we'll go create a new table and this time we're going to create the sales item table all right so let's copy the sale item id sale id again this is going to be foreign key so we're going to choose number field and we'll say decimal place is zero default value nothing okay product id and again this is going to be number and decimal place is zero default value nothing unit price this is going to be currency field because this is all about price so we'll say currency, but decimal, we are going to make it zero. Default value, nothing. Quantity, this is going to be quantity in terms of number field. Okay, so we'll make uh, the decimal zero and default value, nothing. And then we have total price. Now this is going to be a, a calculated field. Okay, so what, what are we calculating? So let's say calculate it. We're calculating unit price multiplied by quantity. So we'll say unit price multiplied by uh, quantity. Click OK. And of course, the result type is currency. And uh, that's it. OK. Status. And we'll say status 25 characters. OK. Sales item. Uh, that's great. So we have created that table as well. Now let's create a payments. We'll close that. We'll click on create and table. Right click and we'll say this is going to be payments T. All right, let's say payment ID. 
sale ID, payment type. Uh, okay, sale ID is a foreign key, so I should be changing it to number field, decimal zero, default value, nothing. Payment type will uh, make it um, look up visit, okay? So let uh, the user choose from the drop down, say cash and credit card, or we'll say card simply. And we'll say next, limit to list, finish. Okay, perfect. What else? Uh, amount due. So this is going to be currency field and decimal point zero default, nothing. Amount paid, guess what? You know, we'll copy the same. Amount pending, this is going to be calculated field. So we'll say amount pending and we'll calculate it. So we'll say amount paid, oh, sorry, amount due minus amount paid, okay? And this is going to be currency field, okay? Uh, what else? Amount paid, amount pending, payment date, I think I'm, I've done a mistake somewhere, but I can't recall where did I do a mistake. Anyway, we'll find it out. At the moment, we'll continue. Status, we'll say status and 25 characters. All right, so payments table also done. Now let's go ahead and create the last table, which is inventory. And it's very, very important table. So let's click here, right click, design view, inventory T and inventory ID product id number field this is going to be number field because it is linked to the product id and then we have change uh, quantity basically whatever it is being added or it is being removed from the stock so we are going to uh, have that category as well okay so change quantity and then you see transaction type okay now transaction type if we'll say lookup wizard and we can have this transaction type. For example, it is purchased, so that means it is going to be added. Then we have sale, which means it is going to be deducted. Return, it is going to be uh, added. And adjustment, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll skip adjustment. I mean, if you if you want, you can definitely, but I'm going to skip it. <laughs> All right. So what else? And the transaction date, and we'll say date and time. We'll keep this as a short date. Okay, so here we go. We have these uh, tables created, and um, I think that's that's about it. And we can create a relationship as well, but we will do that in the next video. So this is how you create database schema, and you create tables as well. I'm going to figure it out how I'm going to share this file with you guys. So if you want to download it, use it for your uh, personal use, you're most welcome to do that. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you um, have watched until now, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, if you have watching, that means you have joined the channel as a member. So I'm so thankful to you. Appreciate it because these videos take a lot of effort and time and thinking. So really appreciate that you have uh, taken time out and uh join the channel so really appreciate that anyway this video is going to be public after a couple of weeks uh, so the general public can also see it thank you so much and if you are new to my channel welcome if you're returning welcome back in any case if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please make sure you do if you like whatever you have seen smash the like button uh, so you get to have notification whenever i upload a new video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one